In the time between my leg breaking and me deciding to go for amputation, I just kind of felt a bit like a shut-in. You can say what you want, do what you want, be who you want, and we don't care. I would say this is probably going to be the biggest makeover I've ever had, and I think it's been a long time coming. Just after I turned 20, I literally took a step and my leg snapped. It turns out that I'd broken both bones in my lower leg. What followed that was seven years of pain and not being able to walk. My leg never healed properly within that time. I had a lot of surgeries, <laughs> a lot. I decided that I didn't really want to do it anymore. So I elected to have my leg amputated. In the time between my leg breaking and me deciding to go for amputation, I, I feel like I didn't live as your average 20 something. I just kind of felt a bit like a shut in and, it, and it's a, a lifestyle I'm still trying to get myself out of. I feel like most people discover who they are in their 20s and on some level I feel like I had that taken away from me. I just want to be able to feel like who I feel like on the inside, on the outside and I need the help to get there. The whole point of these makeovers are to make people comfortable in their own skin. What brings this whole thing on? Why would you like a big makeover from me today? What I've been through in the last few years, it, it's, it's felt like it's all been about the leg and all been about that, and it's not the only part of me. It's not all I'm about. Do you feel ready now that it can not be the only yeah, thing about 100%. you? Yeah, 100%. Because I bet you, you have a lot of situation with like, how people perceive you now. Yeah. People look at me quite a lot. Um, like, I, whenever I walk down the street, people have a look. So what sort of colours are you attracted to in the hair? Um, I've always loved blonde hair. It's just something I wanted to try out. It's different to my natural hair colour, but it's still, like, work appropriate. But I've never really quite had the confidence to just go yeah. for it. Because um, blondes, blondes get attention. Well, if they're staring, may as well give them something to stare at. <laughs> It's going to be blonde. Yes. Very blonde. <laughs> yes. OK. <laughs> Let's do it. I think what's really important with this look is that we go blonder around the face. Yeah. Because I imagine that when you tie your hair back, well, you, well you're a brunette, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> and there is so much dark under here. Yeah, I've got a bit of work to do on here, girl. I'm not going to lie, but it is possible. So I think I had four or five surgeries before the amputation and every time I was like, right, this is the last one, we're getting there now, and it was never the end of it, really. How tough was that decision to say, right, I'm going to get my leg amputated? It, I always say to people it was um, a horrible decision to have to make, but ultimately it was an easy one for me. Like, don't get me wrong, it's hard. Like, my life is, is never going to be easy. It's really exhausting. I cannot get across how tiring it is lugging a prosthetic leg around all the time. Life is very different, life's difficult. Um, you know, I take a limb off at the end of the day. There are things that are not very easy about it. I think a lot of the time I do struggle more than I let on. I sometimes feel like I can't say that because I never want anyone to think I've regretted this. Every now and again, it's still really weird to me that this is forever. Like, you, you know, I'd like to think I'm gonna get married and have children and do all those things, but like, I don't know that that's gonna happen, but I know that regardless of what does happen, I'm gonna have one leg while I'm doing it. All right, then where does relationships fit in on all this then? Um, I've never actually had a boyfriend, so it's just, it's never been a priority in my life. It's an area of my life I've always been underconfident in. Since the whole situation with my leg, I feel like that's got worse. Um, I've been single throughout all of my 20s, and that is because my confidence is very much reliant on, oh, what if someone doesn't want to be with a girl who's got all these issues going on? Every time you open your phone, you're hit with this image of what everyone expects a woman to look like. That gets to you. I wanted to be OK with myself before I started trying to be OK with someone else. And I think for a long time I wasn't. I am so proud to know this girl. Everything she's been through, it's just that one thing, the love, the relationships. And if I can help her get a little bit closer to that, 
and that would be so beautiful. So how do you feel about the new look giving you the confidence to, you know, go out there, flirt? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not very successfully, but yeah, I, I think it'll be good. It's like the final kind of piece in the puzzle, I guess. So talk me through what your wardrobe revolves around. At the moment, I'd say it's just a bit of a mishmash of everything. I have a lot of clothes from when I was a teenager still, so I feel like I haven't fully gone past all of that, but I think most of my clothes are probably work clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always look the same. <laughs> like, I think I've had similar hair and similar clothes for a very long time. I just think that I could do with a refresh. Vicky 2.0. <laughs> with the leg, how has it changed how you get dressed? How has it changed your wardrobe, the pieces in it, like shoes, for instance? I could definitely do with some help with shoes because I have very specific limitations on which ones I can wear and heel height. And also, I didn't wear shoes for like seven years, so I have no idea like what's in, what isn't, because I haven't even paid attention to it. You can't be wearing the same clothes you're wearing <laughs> a teenager, however nice they are. And to find that distinct capsule style, I can help with that. So talk me through a look that you would like love to rock. Um, I absolutely love co -ords, so I like that that's fashionable and that has stayed in style for like a while as well. Like, I really enjoy that, so I like suits. Well, the thing about the suit trend is that it's really strong. Mm. So although it's sexy and feminine, it's representing a really strong, bold, boss-like mm -hmm. version. I do love a suit. Like when all those women are like walking the red carpet and they're wearing those tuxes, I think they look incredible. I also kind of like it when people are like a little bit more OTT, so Catherine Ryan's amazing. Anything Real Housewives, like okay. however the top they are, I don't care, this is who I am. Bossy but glamorous. That would be like my ideal, yeah. I've never quite had the confidence to try it though. <laughs> She managed to achieve, by some miracle, a really cool ashy blonde, which is going to be so gorgeous. I've, I've never had the courage to go full-blown blonde, and I think it's partially because I worry what other people would think. Today, I want to take yeah. you out your comfort zone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I really like the length towards the front, mm -hmm. and I think it really elongates your face fantastically. Yeah. But I'd like you to have a bit of a stronger look. Okay. So I'd love you to come a little bit shorter in this back area here, around one side here. Yeah. I want to show your ear off, and I actually want you to go quite forward with it here, yeah. which I think is going to look really, really beautiful. Yeah. I, I very much like it just to be a little bit shorter, so it's more styled than just kind of this. <laughs> How are you feeling seeing more blonde? Do you think it's going to make you feel more confident? Do you think it's just great to feel I different? So. I just feel like it's because I've actually finally had the confidence to go for it. That in itself is probably going to make me feel better. Oh, Victoria's just so beautiful. She's a banging canvas. So just to really enhance her and really push her confidence, that's my job today. Do you usually wear makeup yourself? Yeah, Wednesday? yeah. I love makeup. I really like the like you know it's a form of art really. I yeah. And I really how like how people can use it to express themselves. I'm not very good at doing anything in between. I always feel like I either look like I'm wearing every piece of makeup I own, <laughs> or I look like I haven't slept in like three days. Whenever I try out a new eye makeup look, I second guess it. Like it's just part of who I am. So I, I don't think I've ever had a situation where I've looked in the mirror and my inner voice has gone. Yeah, you look amazing. I'm not great at contouring. Like, mm. I've never really got the knack of that. We are going to give you a beach-ready contour, so you're going to be all bronzed up. What I'm going to do is use a powder to yeah. contour. It makes it a lot easier for you. Okay. So this softens it up a lot more instead of having a harsh line. And I like to take it up to the temples. So can you see the difference it's already making yeah, between this see. side yeah. and this side? Mm -hmm. I feel like in my life, I haven't made a lot of choices that are solely for myself. And this could be something that's just for me. You know, hopefully when I look at it in the mirror, I'll love it and I'll think, you look good today, Victoria. <laughs> that would be nice. 
I really hope that her new look is going to make her feel as beautiful as she really is. Okay, Victoria, open your eyes in three, two, one. I think after this, I might feel a little bit more confident in the dating world. I'll, I mean, I'm still going to suck at flirting. The hair's not going to change that, but <laughs> I'll give it a go, probably. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I didn't even know it could look like that. <laughs> look at you. This whole experience has been amazing. Like, everyone here is lovely, and I think I'm still in shock a little bit. <laughs> I hope Victoria's look makes her enjoy being stared at and not something that she has to turn her head away from.